This video will show an example of finding a least square solution to a system of equations and calculating the error of the solution. Suppose that we have the following system of equations. 2x1 is equal to 1. Negative x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. And 2x2 is equal to negative 1. We can rewrite this as a matrix vector equation, which is going to be the coefficients in the matrix. So 2, 0, negative 1, 1, 0, 2, times the vector x, which is x1 and x2, is equal to our constants vector 1, 0, negative 1. That's the same as the system of equations. And therefore we have A, X, and B. We want to solve this system but it actually has no exact solution and therefore we have to use least squares. The normal equations in least squares are A transpose A times X hat is equal to A transpose B. So these are the components that we have to find. A transpose A is equal to, so let's write out the actual matrices. This is A transpose and this is just A. And if we multiply that out we get 5, negative 1, negative 1, 5. Then there is A transpose B. And so once again, A transpose is shown here. B is just our vector, 1, 0, negative 1. And multiplying that out, we get 2, negative 2. So now we have all the pieces that we need. And we can rewrite our equation, our system, as 5, negative 1, negative 1, 5, which is A transpose A, times X hat is equal to A transpose B, which is 2, negative 2. We can write this then as an augmented matrix, like we usually do in order to solve these kind of things and perform row reduction. And this will reduce to 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 third, negative 1 third. So therefore, our x hat, which is x1 and x2, is equal to 1 third, negative 1 third. So these are the weights on the columns of A which will get us closest to the solution vector 1, 0, negative 1. We can also see exactly where this least square solution is going to get us by looking at a times x hat and that's going to be 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds, and negative 2 thirds. Remember that B is equal to 1, 0, minus 1. So we can see that we get kind of close to B by using A times X hat, but it's of course not exact since there was no exact solution. And using this we can find the error associated with our least square solution. The error is equal to the distance between the true solution, B, the vector we wanted to get to, and what we actually got to within the column space of the matrix A. And there's a distance between the vector B and its projection onto the column space, which is A multiplied by the least square solution. And so that is equal to the square root of the difference between the components and each one of those squared. So 1 minus 2 thirds squared plus 0 
minus negative two-thirds, so plus two-thirds squared, plus negative one minus negative two-thirds, so plus two-thirds squared. So the square root of that entire expression. And that is equal to the square root, so each component here is going to be one-ninth plus four-ninths plus one-ninth. And that is equal to root six over three. So that is the error that is associated with this least squares solution.